Hey guys, it's your boy Piff Beats, and today's video is about automation. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button below. If you enjoy what you're watching, hit the like button so we can get this video to a thousand likes. And if you have any suggestions for this or any future videos, leave them in the comment section below. And check out our website, dailyheatcheck.com, for exclusive downloads and templates. And like us on Facebook, I have all the links in the description. So for today's automation video, we're going to be breaking down how it works and just get a brief understanding on what automation is. So in short, automation would do tasks throughout the song at desired locations without the need for us to go in and manually adjust it ourselves. And just to give you an example of that explanation, it would be, say you're working on a song, all right, and you have vocals, backing vocals, and the second time the hook plays back throughout that song, you want those backing vocals to get louder. And then when the beat drops, you want to pan those vocals, say left and right, and have to do, you know, something crazy and funky. But you don't want to make extra tracks just for those small tweaks within the song, then automation is what you're looking for. Basically, plain and simple. So right now, we're going to be highlighting automation, but we're only scratching the surface. So we're only going to be looking at volume and panning. But if you want to go more in depth, let me know. Let's start automating. So to get the automation set up, we have to go right here to this little connect the dot looking uh, icon. And you see if you hover your mouse over it, it will tell you show and hide automation. So we're going to click that. And the shortcut on the keyboard is the A button. So if you want to get to it quickly, that's how you do it. So for this video, we're going to be doing drawing in the automation for this track we're going to do a fade so we have it on touch in order for us to um to draw it in touch will be the best mode for me latch is good as well but we're going to stick with touch but the best advice is don't use right in the event that you want to overdub because this will write over everything that was previously on that track for automation only for what the selected automation is example volume so we have the volume as you can see i already adjusted it down to 12.8 we're going to enlarge this that's what I want to do. And you go right here, if you guys didn't know, it gives you a full screen view of the track that you're working on. So with this enlarged, I'm going to go and draw a dot right here. Boom. You could use your pencil tool, but you know, the arrow will work just as well. And with that dot, that represents the separation of the automation. So when you automate a track and say that dot isn't there, by default, by dragging this one dot initially, you see how it affects everything as the volume on the track. And we don't want that. We just want to create an initial fade. And in order to have that fade, we just needed to affect the first portion of the track and nothing else. By putting that dot there, that indicates to us that nothing else in that track after that dot will be affected from what we do in the previous selection. So we're going to take this, drag it down. That's pretty cool. Now let's draw in some curves. Take that there. Draw another one in right there, and let's draw another one in there. And then you could come in and, you know, resize them if you want. It's pretty cool. Automation is definitely fun, something I would recommend for everyone it's just to play with. Now that we have our little automation curve, we could play it and see if it works. Play it from the beginning. couldn't have wanted it any better so as we see we just drew in that fade with the automation and now with the panning same thing go to the panning and now if we want to go left to right or do whatever crazy funky stuff we could do that but remember we're going to put this dot here because i don't want anything to get affected after that so we're going to just go do some crazy pans you know some very unorthodox stuff um but you know it makes the best when you do stuff that's not really to the script and I'll just play it back and see how that sounds And you know, that's just a quick touch in the surface of it. And like I said, we're only doing the volume and panning just to get people to have a better understanding on what it is. Because, you know, I have a, I know a lot of producers that don't use automation because they don't know how to use automation. 
But just to show you how it works and to scratch the surface, that was the whole purpose of this video. I really hope it was informative. And, you know, let me know the feedback in the comments. And thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, like this video and please subscribe to Daily Heat Check.